How do you write off your rent? If you're renting a home, you need to do a drawing. I'm just going to do one real quick. And let's say this house is 50 feet wide by 50 feet, which is 2,500 square foot home. So you need to draw out your house. Just measure it real quick. Draw it out. And the reason you need to do this is in case you ever get audited, you can prove why you rent wrote off a certain portion of your income for office expense at your house. My last house, the front door was like right here. And then you'd walk in, there was a hallway. It would go like this. And then there was an office here. And then there was a bathroom right here. And this was a hallway to the garage. And this was an office. This was living room. This was kitchen. This is three feet wide. Under the IRS or under ADA, the Americans Disability Act, it requires all businesses must have at least a three foot wide path to the bathroom with their business. So that also allows you to write off, and I use this office right here for my business. And I rented, and this house was 2,500 bucks a month. So basically a dollar. It was actually not quite 2,500 square feet on the bottom floor, it was two floors. But for the sake of this, let's just call it a ranch. So you measure three feet wide from the front door and then three feet wide to the bathroom and then the whole bathroom. It doesn't have to be a wall here, but you just measure it. So let, and this office was like 15 feet. So this whole room was like 18 feet wide from here to here, something like that. And then this is three, that was 15 feet. And then that was 10. So that's 25, 28. And then it's 28 feet wide. I don't know. It's like 18 feet by 28 feet. That's how much I was using for the office. So now if I just take out my quick calculator, 15 by 18, I'm just making up these numbers on the fly, by the way, guys, I'm just I'm trying to make it real simple for you. So you just need to do this though. You need to measure it out. So if I do 18, let me go back to that. If I measure in 18 times 28, that's 504 square feet, okay? Now, if I divide that by 2,500 square feet, because that was the total size of the house, that's 20% of the home was being used for my office, my home office. So I was renting this. So 20% of the total space was being used. So my rent was 2,500 a month. My house cleaner was 500 bucks a month. My electric was about a hundred. The landscaper was about 300. And then I had another $200 for internet, gas, garbage, etc. So if I add that up, let's just make that hundred bucks. That is 500 plus 500. That's $3,500 total. That's how much I spent every month on a household, 3,500 bucks. So now if I take my calculator, watch, that's $3,500 times 12 months. That was $42,000 I was spending on my house times 20% because I'm using 20% of the square footage for my business. Oops, $42,000 times 20%. That's $8,400 write-off that I got as a tenant. So that's $8,400 $8, that I got the write-off. So now let's go back to the previous page. Remember, police officer, I spent $50,000 on bills, but now I can add another $8,400 for rent. So now instead of that being 50,000 of taxable income, it's down to $41,600. And now this is only eight grand versus 30 grand. Pretty cool, huh? And this, my friend, is how you use your home-based business of being an affiliate with Fortress or anybody else. I don't care who else, but I'm just using that as an example because we're going to pay you for every referral that you send our way, whether it's the tax planning, the financial education, the life insurance, the real estate, credit repair, whatever it is, you're going to get paid. It's all inside the affiliate center. And this is a way for you to make money without spending a lot of money, without spending a lot of time, but you still get all the tax benefits. Now, 
for all of you that are maybe thinking, well, you can't do this forever. You can't write it off forever if you have a loss. That is true. You can only do it for a few years. But the goal here is not to just barely scrape by. Eventually, you add some more business to it. Maybe you add another side hustle to it. After a while, you're like, I like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and start a side business doing consulting. Maybe I'll, I'll start doing some childcare in my house. Maybe you drive for Uber. I don't know. You figure it out. But this is just to get you a taste of how to do it. And once you actually make money, you can continue doing this forever. You just can't claim a loss every year. So if you write off $50,000, you can do that for so many years, but then after that, you're not going to be able to do it if you're always losing money. So how do you do that? Well, instead of not making very much money, what happens if your side business actually starts to make 50 grand a year? Maybe your maybe your W2 employee in sales, just have them switch you to a 1099 contractor. And now you have $50,000 coming in with $50,000 going out, you're break even. You can do that forever. You just can't go and only make a hundred bucks a year and write off 50,000 more than three years. After that, you still get the write off. You just can't use it that year. It just rolls forward until you actually bring more income. In.